audaz y arriesgado. Noticias 23. Emprendedor para todo reportaje. Para muchas de las personas que no estén acostumbradas a las temperaturas bajas, se recomienda que busquen albergue de inmediato y que se alejen de lugares que estén a la intemperie. Juan, ¿te gusta el maní? A mí me encanta el maní Norma. ¿Ah? A really bad audition for a Spanish network TV show got me nowhere. Luckily, I had more time. You're watching Southern California's CBS2 News at noon. A suspect matching this description is behind bars, and police believe he is the man wanted for attacking elderly women. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Juan Fernandez. Kent and Ann have the day off. Just as he was trying to break into an elderly woman's home again, police say they grabbed the man they believe is the Hancock Park rapist. Let's go to CBS2 News reporter Lisa Siegel for more on this breaking story. Much more ahead on CBS 2 News at noon. A teenage boy is in custody for allegedly starting the Calamesa fire. Wait till you hear who may have to pay for the damages. Plus, the Okinawa diet. What is it that keeps these people so healthy? And we're going to Graceland to celebrate the life of the king. And the sun's been very sluggish so far this morning, but what about for the weekend? All of the complete forecast coming up. Well, if you haven't seen her yet, this is Hillary Andrews, the newest member of our CBS2 weather team. You've got another look at our five-day forecast. It's not looking too bad. I know we saw a lot of clouds and a lot of fog this morning. We are going to see the clouds and fog tomorrow morning as well, but... And who says you can't do it all? Next thing I tackled was the weather. Tropical storm Bertha churning up trouble for several states in the Gulf of Mexico. Coming up, I'll have pictures of that, plus our local forecast. Juan Fernandez joins us now with the weather. You've got some pictures of a big tropical storm. That's right, Jennifer Kent. Tropical storm Bertha already causing some pr trouble for folks out there in the panhandle. Let's go to some videotape. This is out from Pensacola, Florida. Tropical storm Bertha there is expected to bring rain to Mississippi, Alabama, and the Florida panhandle today. Right now, it's about 35 miles southeast of New Orleans. It's expected to reach land today. The winds are blowing about 40 miles an hour there. And if we take a look at our map, you can see the tropical storm Bertha churning right outside here on the Gulf Coast. It is moving inland, and hopefully um, it'll dissipate and break down um, and not cause too much trouble. In the meantime, here are the high temperatures for that part of the United States. New Orleans, 93 degrees. With that rain and that wind, of course, the humidity is up, not feeling very comfortable there. As we head towards the west, this is what we're expecting here. Los Angeles, 79 degrees. San Francisco, a lot cooler, 66 degrees there. So you can see here in our radar over the Southern California area, not a lot of activity happening there. That, of course, is going to give us the temperatures that we expect for this time of year. Nice warm temperatures. We're going to have fog, as we mentioned earlier uh, today, but that'll burn off by the afternoon. You can see some of our high temperatures here today. Covina, 85. Van Nuys, 89. Los Angeles, near downtown, 79 degrees. Newhall, 89. Palmdale, 96 degrees. Now let's take a look at our five day forecast. This is what we're going to expect for the rest of the week. Beautiful temperatures. The valleys near 90, the coast near 70s, the mountains in the 80s. As you can see today, our high temperature 79. It's going to warm up a little, a couple of degrees through the week and by Friday about 84 degrees. That's the very latest in weather. I'll have an update a little bit later on. Kent, All right, Juan. Okay, Jennifer, thanks. Juan. thanks. Well, the rain did claim one life. That was in Oakland, California, where a car lost control and hit a tree. Here, the biggest trouble seems to be up in the northbound five that has been shut down due to extremely low snow levels. And as you can see by the look of my jacket here, it is extremely wet, so it continues to rain at this hour. Reporting live in Hollywood, I'm Juan Fernandez, CBS 2 News. It happened this evening in the Mount Olympus area of the Hollywood Hills. Juan Fernandez joins us now live from the scene. Juan? Well, Gretchen, it's not very often people see police cars out here. In fact, this is probably a very safe area. It's patrolled by private security. So what happened here tonight is not only rare, but scary. Well, promoters are hoping the sport will be featured in the 2004 Olympics in Athens, Greece. If it is, the name will be changed to Pei Kreshan, which is a combination of boxing and wrestling. And you can say you saw it first right here on CBS2. Reporting live in San Pedro, I'm Juan Fernandez, CBS2 News. So you can bet this is one big party. Juan Fernandez joins us live from Dodger Stadium. Juan? Well, Gretchen, I think I'm the officially the oldest person here. Wild, wild, wango, tango. Officially ended just a short time ago, and it sure lived up to its name. The energy, the moves. Ricky Martin doing it again, this time at Dodger Stadium. Martin, the headliner, closing the almost six-hour Wild Wild Wango Tango concert. Your mark, ready, set, let's go! 
Martin wasn't alone. Tonight, Will Smith and DJ Jazzy Jeff debuted some new songs from the up-and-coming movie Wild Wild West. The crowd couldn't get enough. Also burning up the stage, the harmony-driven Ohio foursome 98 Degrees, who made a pit stop in L.A. from their worldwide tour. The girls think they're cute, and boy, they can sing. 70s superstar Blondie, now enjoying a major comeback, sang some of her classics and some of her newer hits. It seems to many she never left the charts. Hey, remember Millie Vanilli? This is one half of the group. Okay, so he can sing. On with the show. On to Enrique Iglesias' sensual sounds. He's probably just as popular as his dad Julio, but only sang one song. And that brings us to the end of Wild Wild Wango Tango. The entire night is best described by rapper MC Hammer. 55,000 people, Wango Tango 2. We did our tango with the Wango Tango. Yes, and back out live here with some of the fans that have stayed late. Ricky Martin will be at the warehouse on La Cienega tomorrow. That's near the Beverly Center to sign autographs before heading to New York City for a concert at Madison Square Garden. Reporting live at Legion Park, I'm Juan Fernandez. Back to you. Beach closers across the country hit a record high last year, and here in Los Angeles County, cities aren't doing enough to keep our own water and beaches clean. Now, what are we going to expect tonight? It is going to be a chilly night, folks. We're talking 20s, 30s, 40s. It's going to be cooler in the mountains. Check out Apple Valley, 24 degrees there. Big Bear Lake, 15 degrees overnight. 42 degrees Palm Springs, 32 for Marietta, 35 Riverside, 38 Rancho Cucamonga. It is cold just about anywhere you look. Tomorrow? Similar to today, remember tomorrow is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. A drug bust nabbed 16 people, including a Hollywood actor. Good afternoon, I'm Juan Fernandez. American troops will be coming home from the battleground in Iraq, a welcomed holiday surprise for military families. It's also the Bush administration's response to the changing situation in Iraq and the United States. We get full details now from KCAL 9 political editor Linda Breakstone in the newsroom. Linda. The parents of a 16-year-old boy accused of causing a 500-acre brush fire in Riverside County may have to pay up. That turbulence lasted 10 long, hard seconds. Passengers tell me they thought the plane was going to crack in two. The plane landed here around 9.30. Their travel day started 16 hours ago. At the center of this investigation, email, all email to and from City Hall. The order, don't delete it. It could now become evidence. CBS 2 News at 6 a.m. 6.11 now on a Friday morning. Good morning, everyone. Federal officials bust an alleged South L.A. brothel. A federal jury has indicted four people who are accused of running the brothel. Authorities say 12 Mexican families, including two underage teens, were smuggled across the border and forced to work as prostitutes to pay off their debts. Investigators say the alleged madam, just 26 years old, Valle Maldonado, ruled the brothel with an iron fist. She was pretty hardcore. They would uh, perform up to six or seven sex acts a, a given day. If these girls refused to perform an act, she would get in their face and be real hostile with them. Um, and these girls felt threatened by her. The alleged madam and three other suspects are scheduled to be arraigned on Monday. Well, traffic sure stinks, but the weather is looking good, right? That's our big silver lining for the weekend. It's your big silver lining if you're not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're trying to get out of town on the freeways, not so good. Not so good. Yeah, leave early. Um... After a long day of delays, that flight finally pulled into L.A. CBS 2's Juan Fernandez has the latest live from LAX1. Paul, that turbulence lasted 10 long, hard seconds. Passengers tell me they thought the plane was going to crack in two. The plane landed here around 9.30. Their travel day started 16 hours ago. 